Good morning, America, and good morning, everyone, wherever you are on this big planet. The first thing I want to say, of course, is to wish you a wonderful, magical Christmas, and of course, a happy new year, because I don't know when is when I'm going to do my next video. Uh, yesterday, I said I would not produce any more video, but since it is Christmas, uh, and since I refer to the U.S. economy, predictions. Um, this is not something personal, so I think uh, I can elaborate and I will elaborate a little bit more on that topic as we go along. So um, the first thing I have to mention to you, uh, be careful. We are still into this SOS to the world deadly window. This is a plutonic window, so everything is all about death, drama, sex, porn, secret, the police, the FBI, the CIA, Russia, anything under the table comes to light. And of course, wake up calls. A lot of people will not make it. Especially those who do not know about me, those who do not follow the jurisdictions written in light by God through his celestial design, those who do not respect the cosmic code, these are the ones who are not going to make it in 2020. So let's uh, remind you a few things before I go anywhere else here. Um, as you all know, okay, um, my SOS to the world always, always, and it's undeniable if you have been paying attention to my work, always involve earthquakes at six or above. All right, so today we had uh, a, what, a 6.0 in Colombia. We also had another 6.0 in Argentina, okay? Yesterday, during that window, we had a 6.0 we had two 6.0 in British Columbia. And before that, when the window started, we had a 6.1 in Afghanistan. Again, my friends, all those very educated geologists out there while watching my video are wondering, how the hell does it do it? I do all this without any sophisticated electronic equipment. I do all this without sucking your tax dollars. And I do it without your donation. It's not enough. I need more help. But hey, that's how it is. So this is what I wanted to mention to you one more time. Pay attention. Those windows will give you large earthquakes. And for those who just jumped in do not know about me, if I was able to give you in July 2nd the date for those two big earthquakes in California, maybe you want to pay attention to all my 2020 SOS to the world deadly windows. Now, I uh, was supposed to be on the air on um, the second, uh, sad enough, uh, there is some restructure being done. So I cannot reach the host right now. So and he's not going to be exactly happy about the restructure, but things happen. Okay, that's how it is. So we have to restructure this show. And uh, I have another one with uh, uh, Dr. Sasha uh, Lesson and Janet Kira Lesson. So basically, these are my friends. We're going to have an interesting discussion about UFOs and predictions for 2020, what's going to happen to Trump and all that good stuff. So tune in. There is more radio show that are lined up. Uh, and of course, all my public appearances. So go to drturi.com, www.drturi.com, and then you can just check. Uh, all my uh, um, public appearance or we should read that newsletter which is totally updated okay and um, read the current news and read all the stuff that you may not necessarily grasp because you are not visible you're audible which means you learn more by reading you assimilate more by reading my stuff all right so the um, 226 2019 Capricorn solar eclipse uh, predictions uh, is for all signs. Okay, 
So I'm going to get uh, into the cosmic code and I'm going to go all the way from uh, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, and so forth. And we're going to do that very specific uh, solar eclipse into the sign of Capricorn by house and sign and telling you what's going to happen to you. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Click on the link, okay? And then uh, we go from there. What else do we have here? Um, one more time, my friend. This is a plutonic window. This is the most obvious windows of all. And as you know, those nasty entities, which I call the reptilians, can only survive in dark matter, in darkness, with fear, negativity, greed, murder, drama, insecurity, instability. They are the forces of evil. They are the demons um, mentioned in traditional uh, Christian Christianity. Uh, for the lack of words, they do not know better. They've never seen a UFO. They don't delegate with extraterrestrials. So they are using logic. So the devil, Satan, the evil falling angel, whatever it is, but they only see one side. There is also the guardian angel, okay? So the falling angel, they are those reptilians. You, you know, they have wings if you want to, and then you have the guardian angel with wings too. It's up to you <laughs> how you perceive it, but never forget my hand has two sides. You have a day, you have a night, up and down, black and white, the front, the back, got the devil, the yin and yang, two sides of the brain, the reptilians, nasty, and the beautiful, loving, benevolent gardeners of this world, the drug. Canis, not to be mixed with the draconians, which are part of the reptilians or the reptilians negative family. We understand each other so far. Okay, so let's look at the news now. Look at the news uh, like Nostradamus used to pass it on by using quatrain and obvious keywords. Okay, again, remember his work was pretty much under the blanket. He, you know, he didn't want to get killed, he wanted to keep his head on his shoulder. He had to fight the French Inquisition. I don't have to worry about that. Um, there is uh, no French Inquisition, uh, even though that some people want to put me in the stake. <laughs> Bunch of idiots, <laughs> religious fanatics out there. So understand that you cannot have a day without a night. So if you're negative, if you're in darkness, and if you have fear, there is no way around it. You are infected. Everybody is infected, including me. Okay. If I was to drink a lot of beer, smoke a lot of pot, coke, believe me, I'll be infected. Next thing I know, like all these losers, oh, I might get a machine and go and kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that is the reptilians at work. And they have been with you since the beginning and they are in your head, okay? You have a reptilian brain and you have a draconis brain. When you're happy, when you promote, when you create like I do, beautiful music, beautiful painting, when you love somebody, when you, when you heal, you are led by the forces of the sun or the draconis, the beautiful love and light, okay? They use the forces of the sun. And when you're negative, bitchy, and you hate me, and you want to kill everybody, and you're depressed, uh, you're infected, you drink too much, you take too much pot, you, you, or cocaine, or God knows what, then you are under the jurisdictions of the reptilians, and like a fleas, like fleas on a dog, they need our thought. They need our negativity to survive into this universe. A lot of things, my friends, that you cannot conceive just yet. And it is by listening slowly but surely that you will raise your cosmic consciousness and understand that you're not going to turn into a lizard. Nobody turn into a lizard. And not only the Queen of England or Obama and all these famous people <laughs> turn into a lizard. Nobody died. Nobody did. Never the we are, but they are all, including me and you, infected. The idea is to clean up your act, so to speak, and work for the love and light and be progressive, be positive, be smart, be curious, and have a good smile or a good word for anybody around you, especially in Christmas or the New Year's for that matter. All right, so let's look at those nasty news. Uh, a paramedic is accused of killing his wife with eye drops. Can you believe that? They put some stuff in his eye drop, uh, in her eye drop. Next thing you know, get to her brain and uh, she dies. And then he collects the insurance money. That is infected reptilians. When people will do that, they call it greed. Greed is a big, big part of the reptilians' toys or goodies. Okay. All right. Boeing is fire. Uh, Boeing fire CEO will leave with millions. The keywords mentioned super wealth. 
okay, these guys fight, doesn't do his job. Many people are dead, but he's going to take off his $15 million. <laughs> Talk about super wealth. It's part of the um, keywords. And today we had a very famous French guy who died. Remember the news? Famous death. That's the keyword. If you watch the news, this very famous French guy just died. Famous news, famous death. Uh, NBC suspends sport analysts for inappropriate comments about co worker. Remember, I told you a million times during those SOS to the world, particularly, especially this one, this plutonic window, that's where the reptilians are the stronger. They're going to hijack your mind, your body, your soul. They're going to make you talk, say things on an emotional level. Next thing you know, you're going to lose your job. It happened all the time during those windows. Pay attention. All right. What else do we have? The Walking Dead actress arrested for assault. Here you go. Walking Dead actress arrested for assault. I mean, <clears throat> she's rich, she's famous, but she's an idiot or unlucky because she does not know nothing about God cosmic design, the cosmic culture addictions, the reptilians that have hijacked a mind and emotions, drink too much, smoke too much, but next thing you know, you go and beat your husband and you end up in jail. Be careful especially now remember last few days during this window how many people died how many people would make a parties and meet each other's and during those windows they have no freaking crew next thing you know they don't survive they end up dead or in a hospital be careful texas infant found dead after crawling into a plastic bag suffocating cosmic biorhythm okay this kid sad enough was at the wrong place at the wrong time the reptilians know, knew it they put the plastic bag there the parents forgot the time they forget their kid in the car because they associate the child with the loser husband who does not help the poor mother with working three jobs next thing you know she doesn't she does she associates this child and leave it to cook in a car this happened all the time especially in arizona in the arizona hard place so check your cosmic biorhythm for 2020 because if you are into one of my sos to the world deadly window particularly the plutonic window and in one of your 2020 negative cosmic biorhythm now this is what you do look click you're dead 85, 95 chip on percent chances for you to die when your cosmic biorhythm is negative and when those cosmic winds, plutonic window are active. Pay attention. It's worth it for you to spend a few bucks and have those dates. Doesn't mean life stop. Doesn't mean you can do stuff. Do whatever the hell you want, but be concerned on what you see, what you do, what you say, where you go, who you meet. Because the reptilians are very, very active during those windows. And I can only prove it to you the best way I know how. Using Nostradamus, 16th century, Divine Astrology, Methodology, writing obvious care quatrain, and more than obvious keywords. You should get it, my friend. <clears throat> Christmas Eve stampede at Australian Mall. Mega balloon drop <laughs> giveaway. Leave several in jail. There you go. 99.9% <clears throat> of the people walking this earth have absolutely no clue of God cosmic design. You know, it's Christmas, okay? Human use this calendar. Yeah, they use this calendar. Okay, it's uh, wedding anniversary, it's my birthday, it's Christmas, it's New Year, hey, let's have fun. Okay, go and do it. I would do it too, but I'm staying home. <laughs> I'm staying home. I want to I wanna see 2020. I know a little bit too much to mess around in public right now. And then you can see everything is trying to stop you. You go in some place, the next thing you know, you have 30, 30 car pile up. These are omens that you should pay attention. The weather is bad on top of that, it's raining. If it's raining in Arizona, I mean, tell you what, uh, maybe you should stay home with your family and then enjoy your presence, okay? Even be careful if you go to church because somebody crazy over there may decide to go and kill everybody in a church. They did. We're going to see. You're going to see what I'm saying in a minute. 
Uh, resident with shotgun kills three during apparent home invasion. Believe me, I'll do the same. If you come in my house and you're not invited, <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm, I'm not going to ask questions. I'm going to use it. I'm going to kill you first and then ask question. What the hell are you doing in my house without being invited? Okay, so that's the good news of the Second Amendment. This is why guns are important, okay? Uh, but criminals have guns too. Guy got hurt, but he's okay. But three people are dead. So again, during those windows, the crooks are more, more active than ever. And then there you go. So check those cosmic winds and then put your alarm on and be prepared during those windows because if anything wrong is going to happen, that's when it will happen, especially if you are under one of your negative cosmic virus. You see something brand new that I discover. I discover after I'm 70 years old, even if I don't look it because I have a gift or a curse, whatever it is. <laughs> That's why I teach how to stay young. Okay? Long story, my friend. Go to that cruise with us. So what I'm trying to tell you here, um, there is secrets and a lot of things you do not know. And it's worth it to ask for it. And, you know, it's only when the student is ready that the real teacher will appear. Are you ready? Been ready for a long time. Okay, toxic coconut wine kill at least 11 people during Christmas celebration is in the Philippines. Now, those people are more religious than anybody in on the planet, and mostly because, you know, the Spaniards were there for us, a bunch of Indians not educated, and they sold their Christianity or their next thing, you know, uh, you know uh, somebody here. So, wow, it's Christmas, there's a little Jesus out there, and then all these people are drinking, they're going to get drunk. A crazy lunatic put poison. But don't expect the Filipino news. Don't expect anything uh, remotely connected to the truth to tell you what happened. That's what Drake will tell me. One of these crazy religious fanatic guy didn't like what all these people were doing. You know, they're supposed to pray. They're supposed to be pure. They're supposed to be nice. So he decides to punish them. Let's put some stuff in that and they all die. 11 of them. My friend, this is crazy. All right. Last one is pretty sad as far as I'm concerned. It's the little girl here. Um, <clears throat> California Family Church is praying for a two-year-old little girl resurrection. Let me tell you how stupid people can really be. Little do they know that all religions were created by the reptilians, greed, greed. So they're all praying and they're all asking for $100,000. Again, you know, that little girl died. It happens all the time, mostly because, again, the mother drinks, she takes smoke, she's depressed, she's negative. She goes behind the counter, got something for cold, and she has a negative reaction because she uh, has an addictive personality. She's born in October or in uh, uh, January, which are religious fanatic signs, very addictive signs. Oh, they have the moon in Pisces, the rising in Pisces, but the tail in Pisces, God knows what they, they, they don't have any logical. They are what you call the Neptune. They are controlled by Neptune, the world of deception, illusion, religion, and poisoning. The planet that controlled the Middle East, where all the three youngest, deadliest religions were born in the Middle East. And thus, the religion poison, the body, the mind, and the soul. You may not really understand what I'm trying to say at that point, because I'm not speaking on a logical level. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching you and trying to explain the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness, but you're not students of mine. You do not know what Neptune, Pluto, uh, Saturn, Mercury, Mars uh, is all about on the both the positive or the negative side. We all have that inherited karmically, that UCI, that unique celestial identity that make us who we are. So understand that the little girl is not coming back and she's dead because the parents are not cosmic conscious and they're all praying and hoping like Jesus that that little girl will be back alive. But to tell you the level of stupidity on planet Earth, Jesus, have mercy. I think I reincarnate on the wrong freaking planet to, to deal with so much stupidity. You would have to pay me so much money. But hey, so what his order can do is to help you. So 
my heart goes to that little girl, to her family, because they're still human beings, even though that they are stupid and uneducated and religious fanatics uh, being victimized by the reptilians and being greedy in the process. You know, let's make some news. Let's get our church. Let's more, get more people, more money. It's all about greed and control. There's nothing you're going to gain. It's pretty much like astronomy telling you there is another planet that has been discovered or there is another black hole that's coming up out there. How the hell is that going to help you? God created the stars and the heavens for more than the sake of beauty or for NASA to investigate through the whole telescope. Okay, he gave them to us for interpretation so that we may lead a more secure, progressive, positive life. That's what the stars were created. Not to be enjoyed or mess around by the astronomers who discover a planet every single day or for NASA or those billionaires to suck your money away and send you to the space station. Jesus in 2020, how far did we progress? 250 miles at the space station. That's where we went. And trillions and billions and quadrillions of dollars being wasted. Use technology. We already are on Mars in all this planet. Use technology. That's what technology is all about. But don't even think or even believe that one day you're going to go on Mars. Nobody ever ever will ever go on Mars. And I'm not going to get started with UFO just yet and all the UFO speakers uh, regurgitating the same thing that they have heard, read, listened to over the years. Then comes Dr. Terry with the truth. And you're going to have a, such a shock when you come to my UFO conference and then you're going to see my slideshow. You're going to hear, you're going to get a wake-up call with Dr. Terry. And that's why you're going to like me or hate me, but that's how it is. Now, the else that we have yesterday on those same negative windows, fire in Las Vegas of apartment complex kill five. Again, be careful. The reptilians will do anything and everything is possible to kill you. One woman killed and another injured in dog attack. Oh my gosh. How many of you have heard my video? <clears throat> how many of you have heard? about this little girl being mauled by people, this old lady walking in the forest and all of a sudden being killed by a bunch of wild dogs. How many of you have heard of this elk or this bison or this elephant or this lion eating his, uh, um, uh, the one who raised him? How many times? Remember, the stars do not affect only you, but they also affect animals. And those reptilians are using those cosmic wind up. If you are at the right time at the right place, or more precisely in the wrong place at the wrong time because of the cosmic biorhythm combined with the SOS to the world, you did. It's not complicated. It's just the way it is. And you can avoid all that if you're smart. If not, you're going to be part of the statistic. Here again, I heard it. You heard it so many, many times. Okay, what else do we have? Iowa woman said she ran over a 14-year-old girl because she was a Mexican. Jesus, Jesus. And she made the news again. I think she heard a uh, little black kid. You can see how infected this person is, how racist her UCI or unique celestial identity is. She is totally, completely infected. But where does she get this from? Think, where does she get it from? I let you do the math. Ain't gonna be me, that's for sure. What else do we have? 13 people were shot at the Chicago house party. Okay, you heard me earlier. You throw a party during those nasty winds, lucky if you survive it. Two idle children went missing weeks before their stepfather, former wives, were found dead. Again, what a soup, what a nasty soup during those windows. Sheriff Barbara shot over 13 year old air cat. Can you believe this? You're going to go and shoot a barber uh, because the air cut doesn't please. I don't know. I didn't read it, but I don't want to even read it. It's to tell you the stupidity. If you're not objective when you deal with the universal mind, if you don't see the big pictures, you're in trouble. If you focus. But that's why religion is so is so prominent because people are stupid. All they need is Ten Commandments. And you don't want to have, ask them to think too hard, to think outside of the box. Oh my gosh, you talk to Dr. Cherry to Australia, you're going to go to hell. Let's burn the sucker. Come on, it's 2020 next door. 
It's time to grow up and understand that God can only speak through the sign and through the universe that he created. And because I'm able to do that, I'm a little bit ahead of everybody here, or some of you, because I'm not the only one who's cast me cautious. Doesn't mean you should hate me, especially when it's free. All right, this is, it's a wake-up call for you today, maybe. That's the, the, the part of the, uh, 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 the plan of the stars today. At least 21 killed in bus crash in Guantamela. Talk about dramatic news, my friend. Baba Ramdas, psychedelic pioneer, a new age guru, is dead. Can you believe that the reptilians put this guy in power? Totally out there. It's like a cult leader on his own right. Okay. Not that he didn't have any wisdom, but for sure he didn't have cosmic consciousness. And the reptilians will put those guys in power. Not me. But things are changing. Things are changing. The reptilians cannot shine all the time. Life is a constant process of undeniable and controllable changes, my friends. What else do we have? Uh, developer hang a $4.8 million chandelier above a former homeless encampment. Talk about super wealth news. Man, who wants to have a $25 million chandelier? <laughs> Imagine you should sell that stuff. We give it to those poor young women, those poor young mother with two or three kids trying to raise their kids before she prostitutes herself and end up being killed by a religious fanatic or a reptilian infected lunatic who doesn't like this type of uh, uh, women doing this type of job to survive. My gosh, money is wasted in stupid stuff. Electric pickup truck company Rivian raised 1.3 billion. Hey, talk about super wealth again. There's the keyword. Boy missing for more than two, uh, two years, found in closet of child pornography suspect. Okay, keyword porn is there. Secret to light, it's there. Video show police pass kidnapper with teen in truck. Uh, secret to light. Yeah, now. Lucky you survive. A human remains found in Joshua Tree National Park. Secret to light. Watch two carnival cruises. Ship collide. Entrance. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> That's why, you know, you, you decide to go, well, you know, my calendar say it's our wedding anniversary. It's my birthday. It's celebrating. Let's go. Let's go take a cruise. And then you're sitting there at the back of this cruise. And uh, this captain, for whatever reason, or the wind or the current, God knows what shit happens, because my friend, she hit the freaking uh, boat, and you sit in there with your wife, your kids, whatever it is, and you're dead. <laughs> yep, as simple as that. Happens all the time during those windows. A little bit more than usual, obviously. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have? Okay, so all I'm trying to tell you here <clears throat> um, about Trump. <clears throat> First of all, it is a um, duel. A duel means um, everything about him is two, four, six. Let's be objective. Don't, don't go into the detail. Be objective, okay? You cannot have one golf course. You cannot have one hotel. You cannot have one tweet. It's two, four, six, eight, and it goes by the million. That's why dual people tend to grow. I don't want to go through the detail unless you take my course, you, you get to learn the cosmic code secret with everybody. So President Trump being a jewel has a lot of chances to get re-elected. It's part of these stars. And people will say, most of the people who are not cosmic conscious, the main reason is insecurity. Because they feel insecure. Wow, look at the economy. Look at the money. Look at this. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You can put a freaking monkey in power. If the stars do not support the United States, the United States is going to go down. How do I know? Because I'm 70 years old and I had time to check my moon calendars and all my stars back in the day when I was on George Norrie. And I said, George, expect a full restructure of the real estate and a lot of problems. And all the rich are going to survive and all the poor are going to lose their houses. Who was right? You don't know me. You don't know my work. You don't know the cosmic code. So all you have is your five 
logical, rational, limited human sense. You don't have cosmic consciousness. Oh my gosh, look at all the money. We got to really take him. Doesn't work that way. Currently, the stars make it simple. I don't want to give you the detail unless you're a student, okay? Which I'm going to give to my VIPs on, on the cosmic code. Currently, the stars are supporting America, July 4, 1776. There is an uplifting energy on the United States of America. And I tell you again, you could put the biggest moron on the planet as a president. The economy will still be very, very good. But that is about to change with or without President Trump in power. How do I know? Hey, get the detail in the cosmic code. Show your support, show your interest. But all I can tell you, I already made that predictions, okay? And you want to get the detail? Hey, become a cosmic coder, all right? And I'll take care of you. And I will also tell you how this uh, upcoming solar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn is going to affect you personally in each of the house that lunation will take place. And every month you have a new moon and you have a full moon that takes place in one of those houses. So if you have a new moon in your seventh house of marriage or a full moon there, be ready, you may be with the wrong person and there's a big change coming your way. If the lunation takes place on your home area, be ready, you're gonna buy a house, sell a house, or you're gonna relocate. You have it in your second house of money, oops. You're going to win the lottery. You're going to lose money. You're going to have unexpected expenses. You have it in your subconscious, the full moon. You're going to feel depressed like hell. You won't wonder what the hell is going on with me. Why do I feel shitty today? And the next thing you know, you're going to go and see a psychologist. He's going to feed you some antidepressant. Next thing you know, you're going to be a right open door to the reptilians who are going to drive you insane. And at the end, you're going to be part of the statistic that's incredible, unstoppable, suicidal plague that is cursing America in the entire world. My friend, there is so much, so much you have to digest. And here I am. And then you have a kid out there you know, showing toys that tells you the state of mind of people, 99.9 .9 of people walking this planet are not like you. You took the time not only to click on that video, but to listen to me all the way to the end. Most of the people will listen to what, two minutes? pack it all up. They're not smart enough. They're not a superhuman. They're not that race, that the type of human being that is led by the draconis to lead us towards love, peace, happiness, success, growth, and respect for us all. So you are different, obviously. If not, you wouldn't be here. And if you're here for the first time, again, there is no accident. Are you going to listen to me in a few minutes or are you going to go listen to the end? I don't know. It's your deal. That's what I do. All right, my good friend, I want to finish by wishing you again a fantastic, absolutely beautiful, magical Christmas. And I also want to wish you a wonderful new year. And remember, I will finish this video by saying, your future is nothing else than the reincarnation of your thought. Learn all about the superconscious in time and space. Get my book, Beyond the Secret. You're going to gain much more than what you could ever bargain for. Secondly, Secondly, God created the stars and the heavens for more than the sacred beauty. He gave them to us for interpretation so that we may lead a safer and more productive life. Join the Cosmic Code. You're in good hand with Dr. Turi. I'm real. I have the experience and I give undeniable prediction on the radio, on TV. And I'm not saying this again on an egocentric point of view. I'm saying it because it's real. Okay, Dr. Turi, we like you. Let's give you the right thumb here, okay? And then um, you have questions, hey, type a few words like some of the courageous people. It's, hey, I have that question, Dr. T, what happened? I'm not gonna do a reading, but I'm gonna give you some uh, answer the best way I can. And then of course, join my channel. And most of all, most of all, please talk about it. Grab the link, put it on your Facebook page. Show me that you are interested. Show me that you support Dr. Turi. Show me that you work with the forces of light and the Draconis and see what happens to you once you join the light. Until then, may God bless all of you, my friends. 
make it a beautiful Christmas and absolutely gorgeous 2020 New Year. Bye-bye.